We're going to be looking at uh, pretty much describing matter in terms of its physical and chemical properties. Okay. okay, describing matter. You must observe matter carefully to describe it well. Characteristics that help you describe and identify matter are called properties. Okay. Properties can be either physical or chemical. We're going to look at um, the differences and how we can either measure the differences or identify what these differences are. Okay. So a physical property, a property that can be observed or measured without changing the composition of matter. Physical properties are used to observe and to describe matter. So these are things, characteristics in which we can see okay, or even measure. So physical properties subcategorized as qualitative or quantitative properties. So qualitative, think of uh, in terms of the quality of, of, of the item, okay? So if we're looking at something um, in terms of qualitatively, we're looking to being able to describe it in terms of words, but not being able to measure it. But then we look at a word like quantitative, and we think of quantity, the amount, okay? So I think of quantity, how much, and we're looking at pretty much conditions in which we can actually measure something, okay? And express it numerically. Okay. Chemical properties, property that you can observe when one kind of matter is converted into a different kind of matter. So we're starting off with one type of substance and somehow it changes completely. Okay. So example of a chemical property of iron is that it reacts with oxygen to form a different kind of matter and that being rust. Okay, so when an iron is exposed to oxygen over time, it starts to rust. Um, so it's pretty much, it cannot go back. Okay, it's, it's completely changed its entire composition. Rust and iron have completely different physical chemical properties to one another. So if you look at them physically, you look at them and you go, okay, they're completely different. And somehow, one reacted to form something else, okay? So here we have the following chart to distinguish between physical properties and chemical properties. As we said, physical properties can be measured as either qualitative or quantitative. So qualitative, we're looking at here the description, okay? We're describing it, physical state, color, odor, crystal shape, malleability, ductility, hardness, bitter, uh, bitter, brittleness. Can't even speak today this morning. Uh, so, and quantitative, as we said, quantity, how much. So we are looking at all numbers that can be expressed in terms of some kind of a measurement. So we can find the melting point. Okay, that being a measurable um, unit. The boiling point, the density, something that can be calculated. Okay, of an object, solubility, electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity, and the chemical properties. How do they react? Do they react with water? Do they react with air, pure oxygen, acids, other pure substances? Okay. Is it combustible? Okay. Because it, can it just set on fire? Uh, is it toxic? And can it decompose?